Well, hey there, John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center, and today is an extra special day because we have a surprise guest for you all. And no, I'm not talking about this lovely piece of sushi on the desk in front of me. Uh, here today, we actually have our very special guest, uh, a animal expert, a biologist here on staff, is David with us. And he's going to tell us all about this ugh, lovely creature in front of you. But hang on one second, I'm going to go fetch him. He's over here somewhere. Hey, David! David! Yeah. David! Hey, you're on. Go. All right, hey everybody. Um, like he said, my name's David, and today we are going to be looking at my friend the dogfish shark and looking at a few of his characteristics that kind of classify him as belonging to the group of animals known as fish. So when you think of a um, shark, probably the first thing you think of is a fin just poking up out of the water, and that is actually going to be um, their dorsal fin, right? So there's no particular reason why they stick their fins out of the water. Oftentimes, it's not very flexible, so it just kind of pokes up out of the water, and they actually will use their dorsal fins, um, so he's got two of them actually, as well as these two fins. I don't know if you can quite see them. Um, there, his pelvic fins are kind of down closer to the tail. And then last but not le least, what's called his anal fin down there at the very base of the tail. And those are all acting as stabilizers, essentially, so that the shark isn't rolling back and forth in the water. All right? Another feature they've got are these, um, it's called the caudal fin, which is going to be the main tail fins of the shark. And those are what's going to be actually propelling them through the water. So they come in all different shapes and sizes, but most of the time they're going to be fairly long and skinny. So they really cut through the water, make them go really quickly. Right now, his last fins are these ones right here, kind of right behind um, his mouth. And those are going to be his pectoral fins. And so these act essentially as the rudders for the shark. So they kind of will steer them and go different ways on with that. Now, another thing that they've got in common with all of the other types of fish are, you may not be able to see them too clearly, but these slits right here are his gills, right? And so as the shark or fish is going through the water, um, it's gonna be passing over those gills and there's tons and tons of tiny little blood vessels right at the surface. So as um, water goes over the gills, it's gonna be absorbing some oxygen and then um, transferring out carbon dioxide from the shark's body. So they act um, pretty similar in function to um, what we've got in our lungs. All right now the last feature we're going to talk about today are scales. So all fish have scales. Um, some of them may be microscopic. Some of them, um, like here on our shark, are going to be real rough and um, almost pointy. And so those just act as protection. So um, against external parasites, some of the thicker ones can actually protect them from getting by other fish. Um, and so just have all kinds of different capabilities. All right, so um, that's about all the time we've got for today. But um, if you have any questions about shark anatomy or shark biology, we are going to be doing some more videos and posting them over the next couple of weeks. So you can um, post any comments that you've got that you'd really like to know about shark um, behavior, shark ecology, anything like that. Just drop them in the comments below and um, stay tuned to social media for when we're gonna be posting those new videos. Well, thank you, David, so much for joining us today. And as David said, we are going to be posting a live dissection or a, a video of him doing the dissection of the inside of this shark. So be sure to stay tuned to our social media so we will uh, announce when that will be posted. In the meantime, be sure to like, subscribe to our channel, and check the description below where we're going to have science standards galore. But uh, kind of a little stinky over here right stinky. now. I'm getting out of here. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs>